What's up guys, MGT here today and in this video uh, I'll be talking about the new season and how I think some of the teams will turn out to do in the up upcoming season which actually starts this week which I am really looking forward to. So yeah, let's get down to it. Okay, so let's talk about the top three teams. First we'll start with Manchester United. Uh, let's briefly talk about how they did last season. Obviously they won Premiership, took it off Man City, Manchester City, off the neighbours. Um, I think overall is a comfortable season for them. Um, it was expected to happen for a long time, and on obviously did they beat Aston Villa at home three 0 to actually regain the title. Um, so this season will be an interesting one as well, uh, with David Moyes taking over. Uh, one, the second longest serving manager in the Premier League taking over from Ferguson who retired last season um, it'll be interesting to see how David Moyes does it's for, obviously his first team to take in charge of a big team he's taken charge of he did do well last season with the uh, Everton finishing fifth uh, with their restricted financials uh, but overall I think he's given El Everton a great hell of a time for the past 11 years and I hope he'll bring the same to Manchester United but with many more trophies um, so last season United I said they beat Aston Villa 3-0 at home um, what else was the, what are the highlights were there for United um, got beat 5-4 by Chelsea in the Capital One Cup what a great game that was um, the controversial game Beaten by Madrid 3-2 on aggregate, where Nani got sent off. Um, also got beaten by Chelsea in the FA Cup replay. Uh, with the 2-2 draw the first game, where they were, Chelsea came from 2-0 down. And obviously got beat 1-0 after the game. So, I think United, regardless of the Premier League, I think they had a mediocre season. Um, but obviously winning the Premier League back off the neighbours I think made it a whole lot better so yeah I, th I think they should have a good se good season this season um, not signed much players at the minute they've only signed one left back um, Varela I can't really pronounce his first name or else I'll be here all day uh, what else has happened the system bosses Mike Phelan um, and Eric Steele and Rene Moualestin, if I pronounce that right, if I have, and I'm, I apologise, um, have left. And David Moyes has brought his own backroom staff in. Also, they have failed three bids for Fabregas. Uh, the third one being a 30 million bid. And I've, I think Fabregas has also reiterated that he wants to stay at Barcelona. Which fair play to him. I think that's the only reason he left the Premier League to play for his boyhood club Barcelona. And if he wants to stay there, th that that's totally up to him. But I, I, I it'd be a weird one coming Fabregas coming coming back to the Premier League and joining Arsenal's rivals Manchester United. Um, it may sound a bit familiar like last season. Van Persie did the exact same thing. But I'll, we'll see how it turned out to be. With the we've got plenty more left in the transfer window yet. Um, 2nd of September it ends so yeah um, at the end of this video I'll give a bit of a prediction on where I think the teams will finish but we'll go and move on to the next team which are Manchester City um, I think obviously it's the worst season since they regained the title Wor well not regained the title sorry they won the title the worst defence of the Premier League title I've ever seen I should say uh, finished second last season uh, beaten in the FA Cup 1-0 by Wigan I think that was just that, that was that was like adding salt to to the wound um, I got beaten by a relegated team um, I think early on in the season got beaten by 4-2 four, four by Aston Villa uh, couldn't get past to the Champions League group stage again for the second season running so it'll be interesting Emmanuel Pellegrini the new manager will uh, turn out to do in the Champions League. Um, so yeah, that, that's one of the new current affairs for Man City. You've got new manager Pellegrini, Roberto Mancini got sacked. Um, 
I think it's mixed views on that one. Man City and Roberto Mancini. I think he he's loved by the fans, but I think I don't think overall he's achieving the results that the um, the owners wanted him to achieve. So obviously the owners own the club they pay him and they get to do whatever they want but on the same on the same time i think it's the fans it's what the fans want at the same time but then the owners own the club and they get they get to choose what happens to the club um they made some decent signings this season uh fernandinho for 30 million jovetic for 22 million and jesus navas for 50, 15 million and uh, negredo from 20 million um two of them coming from sevilla one for Fiorentina. I'm not sure where Fiorentina is from. Uh, I think it's from. Oh, what was it? I think Shakhtar Donetsk. He was from. Uh, if I am, I may be wrong, but apologise if I am. I think it was Shakhtar Donetsk. Donetsk. Um, how I think Man City will do this season, I don't know because he has taken Ch Manu Pellegrini. He all, I think it's all really in how he can settle in quickly to the Premier League. Because don't forget, he did take charge of Real Madrid and he didn't really have a good time in Madrid. And due to that reason, he got sacked. So I don't think, I'm not 100% sure how he'll do in the Premier League. I think it'll be a, it'll be good if, if he can get him past in the Champions League group stages. And he did promise he's going to play attractive football. So that'll be another good thing to um, look forward to see and how how, how he does that. By the way, I've, I've, I've noticed something as well. I apologise for my um, stuttering. I've got a really bad stutter. Uh, <laughs> I've noticed in my last video as well, I stutter a lot and I've got a lot of... Uh, 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 um, so I apologise for that. Uh, I'm trying my best. So um, let's get it on to the next team, which are Chelsea. Um, finished third last season under Rafa Benitez. Um, obviously... Roberto Di Matteo started the season, uh, did well, but slowly, slowly, just wasn't proving enough results for the one and only Abramovic, who has never seemed to be pleased. Um, so obviously, Roberto, not Roberto, Rafa Benitez took over, and he's, I don't know what kind of season he's had. He's had an okay season, I'd say. He's had an okay season. I think it made it even better when they won the Europa League. But overall, I think he's had a decent season. Uh, so, hence, finishing third last season. Got beat by Man City in the uh, semi-final, 2-1. Uh, knocked, obviously, knocked out in the group stages. Um, regardless, them winning 6-1 under Rafa Benitez. I, think, I don't think they could really have helped um, by winning 6-1 with Rafa Benitez because I think it, it was out of their hands um, got beat 1-0 by Corinthians in the Club World Cup uh, that was a bit of a shock um, because I don't, I, don't I'm not, I can't remember any English team well any big team winning the Champions League losing the Club World Cup um, and obviously winning the Europa League by beating Benfica with that late goal by Ivanovic I think it was so yeah I think that it was an okay season for Chelsea and Rafa Benitez, um, obviously Rafa Benitez leaving, uh, joining Napoli, and it brings an open seat for Mourinho. He returned after seven years. Welcome back, Mr. Mourinho. Um, I think, due to that reason, I think Chelsea will win the title. They have a, they've got a strong team. Well, saying strong team, I think they could do with the striker. Um, they have bit made two bids for Rooney, and both were rejected. And Rooney does seem to be unsettled, but I don't know if Rooney will join Chelsea. It, it, it's a tough one because it, there's like there's it's not only Rooney; it's quite other few other transfers that um, I'll be shocked if that happen. Um, but Rooney joining Chelsea, you never know. I, I did I couldn't see Torres joining Chelsea from Liverpool, but it happened. But you never know if Rooney joins Chelsea. Good luck to him. Um, that's Chelsea bringing in. Um, there could be a departure uh, with Barca bidding for Luis. He's currently injured with a broken nose from the Brazil Confederations Cup game. But that's it'll be, it'll be interesting if Luis does go because I think he's just wait, waiting upon Mourinho to see if Mourinho wants him to stay or go. 
But I think overall he's a good defender. I think he should, he's, personally, I think he should stay. Um, other players Chelsea have signed. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to try to pronounce his name. Andre Skull. I don't even know how to pronounce that. From Leverkusen for 18 million. This is a bit of a weird one. Mark Schwarzer from Fulham. Um, normally, I'd see. I want to. You want to come to a club for first team opportunities, but Mr. Schwarzer, yeah, it's, I don't know why he's joining because obviously I, I don't think he's nowhere near compatible. A little, little compatible. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, my word stuttering again. I don't think he's anywhere near to Mark Schwartz. Uh, Mark, bloody hell. Anywhere near to Petr Cech. Um, but it'll be. I, I don't know where. I don't know where he he'll stand for Chelsea this season. I think that was a bit of a weird one when I first saw that. I was a bit shocked. Um, who else? Van Ginkel for eight million. See, he turns out to be because I think they've got. A, Quite packed out midfield now, Chelsea. Um, hence me mentioning before they need a striker. I think that they probably need a, a decent striker now. Um, obviously, they're bidding for Rooney now, trying to get Rooney. But I think I don't think I think if they can't capture Rooney, I think they should capture um, another striker. I don't know who it could be. Suar Suarez possibly. I don't know. It's it'll it'll be interesting to see if they get Rooney or not. But we'll just see. Um, so that's the top three teams um, that I've done. My predictions, I think, will be Chelsea finishing top. I don't know if they'll take it to the last day, but it'll be interesting. Like I said, interesting. I find everything interesting. I probably said in every uh, discussion. Uh, I think Chelsea have finished top. Beneath them, it's a tough one because the 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 reason I picked these top three teams are they all all have one thing in common now all got different managers all three of them got whole new managers for the new season um i don't, probably, I, I, I don't know i think it'll, it'll be united finishing second due to the fact that marine um Mourinho, david moines has got the experience more than pellegrini i think experience is the key in football and i think pellegrini hasn't got that so i think he, he finished third man city and united finishing second so yeah, I think that's my actual predictions for the season. Chelsea first, um, Manchester United second, and Man City third. And but the opening season is this weekend, and which I'm really looking forward to. The next game are Liverpool versus Stoke, Aston Villa versus Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Sorry. Norwich versus Everton, Sunderland versus Fulham, West Brom versus Southampton, West Ham versus Cardiff, and Swansea versus Manchester United. Those are only the Saturday games. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Tottenham, and Chelsea versus Hull. And the first Monday night of the season is Man City versus Newcastle. Um, so. Just before I end this video, um, I'd like to ask you, uh, well, I want to get new opinions on the new season, so I'll ask a few questions. Um, I think, will Chelsea, well, my, my opinions and to your questions, will Chelsea win the league and do they need another striker? Uh, will Man City's new signings drive them back to win the back the Premier League? I'm not making sense at all. <laughs> um, will Moyes first season win? The Premier League for Man United, and if Arsenal do not sign Suarez, who should they sign? So Suarez, I think this is going to be this is probably go go to go to the deadline day. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting season, and I'd like to see hear your views and see what you think of the new season. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if I stutter a lot. Um, I've got a really, really, really bad stutter. I've really, I've, I've actually noticed it. Um, I'm trying to work on it. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you like, subscribe, and share the video. And uh, obviously, the main thing is let me know what you think of the new season. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep up for more videos.